I was using it a lot. And then after a while, I stopped saying, please write this. And I started giving it more like commands. I was like, write this for me now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how kind of sad. Rude. Preferably in a residential area. Chat GPT just came out. I'm not an AI expert, so I'm not gonna really explain it too well. You can ask it a question and it strings together an answer for you. You can answer, or you can ask it anything. You can ask it for directions to the store, or you can ask it to write you a novel. So that's what I did. And I wanted to see how good it was at taking direction and coming up with something new and creative and different. What I got was a story that I had the AI title as well. At the very end of all of the prompts, I said, hey, come up with a title for this story. That's all I said too, which was very interesting because the AI hmm. remembers your conversation, right? So you're asking it all these questions. You don't have to then reference what you were previously talking about. It already knows. After I had gave it all of the prompts to write the story, I then said, hey, come up with a title. That's all I taught. Come up with a title for the story. And, he, and it came back with The Secret Cowboy, A Journey Beyond the Shadows. Which is super amazing, I think, for... I mean, even just a person to come up with, yeah. but like an AI, that's kind of It would have taken neat. me days to write a title. <laughs> I would have came up with like 12 titles. That weren't I would have probably. racked my brain, yeah. like um, which one works. I would have sent them to you and other family members. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. hey, which one do you like better? Yeah. This thing spit out a pretty good title <laughs> in like 10 seconds, it made me super angry. I'm not gonna read the whole story. I'm gonna link it in the description below. Go ahead and read it, then come back, watch the rest of the video, and let us know what you think about it in the comments. And I don't have the prompts, I'm sorry. But in the beginning I said, give me a story opener. Because we did videos about story, story openers, openers remember? Yeah. So I asked it, hey, give me a good story opener. And it came up with the very first paragraph in the story, which I thought was actually pretty good for a story opener. I thought so too. And I, I had a lot of questions for you and like, what, like how much of this did you write? So now hearing you say you just asked it questions, I'm thinking it literally came up with every single word in every single sentence. Like, yeah, that's exactly. shocking to me because the first paragraph, I was like, there's no way a robot wrote this. It all makes like sense for one yeah. and it's super creative. Yeah, so this chatbot was trained on um, a bunch of information drawn from the internet, mm. trained by, you know, computer engineers. Hmm. And it's basically like, a language generator, right? So you ask it a question or you tell it to write something and it's basically guessing what the words should be. So you tell it to write you a story opener. Oh wow. Every single word is basically a guess on what it should be based on what you asked it and what came previously and what should come after, right? So hmm. every single word is just randomly generated, but you're right, it's so crazy that it all makes sense and it's kind of creative. Yeah. But it's not creative on its own. I did have to prompt it. So it's interesting because it did write a story, but it didn't write a story on its own. So I would say it wrote like 99% of the book. I made some small adjustments here and there, more for like formatting. And I, I didn't remove any like big things. I maybe removed a word or two. And like I said, did some formatting adjustments. But how much right. credit do you give me for just prompting it? You know what I mean? Like, am I an author? <laughs> or like if me and know, you yeah. spitballed about a story, let's say, and then I took our brainstorming session and I went and wrote the story completely, published it. Like, should I list you as a co-author? Because we just simply brainstormed at a restaurant one day. I don't know. That's so hard to say because in that instance, I would be the prompter, right? Yeah. Like what you did. And I don't know, that could be said for anything. Like if you go to a creative class, a creative writing class, and they just give you prompts. Well, they told you what to write, but your story is still your story. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you got the information from because essentially I could be sitting here looking around at my surroundings. It'd be prompted by whatever it is that I see, smell, feel, or hear. So should I get credit to everything that's surrounding me? Yeah. I don't think so. I feel like it's the AI who would get the credit or it would be you who took all those prompts and created that information. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 w I would feel horrible and even asking like, hey, remember I was there at that lunch and we brainstormed, <laughs> yeah. you should give I, me some money. Yeah, give me 25%. Like, I so wouldn't. Let me know in the comments how much credit you think I should get or an author should get that uses ChatGPT or an AI to write a story. Uh, I'd be very interested to know 
what you think. Mm -hmm. Because in my mind, again, this AI chatbot created 99% of the story essentially, but I prompted it. So the right. very first prompt I gave it was give me a story opener. And that's what you get in the first paragraph. And it was pretty good. And then the second prompt I gave it, I was being a little silly and I just wanted to see like where the story would, would go it. and yeah. where it would take it. It says that a figure emerged from the shadows. So I told it, pretend the figure that emerged from the shadows was a secret alien cowboy. And I wanted to see where it took it. So it gave me the uh, second paragraph, which I thought was interesting. It was well-written and everything, but it immediately starts with the alien cowboy, right? Ah, uh, which it was good, but I was concerned because he was supposed to be a secret alien cowboy in that the underlying aspect throughout the story right. would be that maybe the reader and the narrator knows, but nobody else, else knows. knows, or maybe just the narrator knows and the reader doesn't even know. And right. we're like, why is this dude so weird? And why is he wearing a cowboy hat and it's 2020? And then it comes out. And, and then, then it I slowly think... comes out through the story. Hmm. Chat GPT was not very good at Hiding. subtlety and yeah, hiding subtlety. things in a go. narrative that slowly comes out over time got it which huh. is an interesting aspect of storytelling that i think right. humans are very good at chat gbt was not mm. very good at but then that leads me to wonder okay well does the chat gbt have enough information catalog for them to have that that quality to be able to do that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, does it have enough information packed in there for it to be like, yeah. this is subtlety? <laughs> yeah. You know, and this is cool subtlety. in stories. And you know what's so cool is that you can tell ChatGPT to try again. So you could basically, oh. I could tell it, hey, write me uh, another scene where the secret alien cowboy uh, does something, but don't let the reader know use it Your as identity. just as his identity to build yeah. his dialogue. Like you can give ChatGPT some very detailed instructions and what's so fascinating is that it will turn around and give you something interesting. That's so crazy. And again, because you're running this long chat, it knows what it had given you and it knows what you were asking it. So it continues hmm. to build this story based on past prompts. Right. Uh, so I could have did that, but I didn't. I just ran with it. Yeah, and then he continues with the cowboy uh, was telling tales of his travels through galaxies, spinning yarns of battles with space outlaws and such. And again, he was supposed to be a secret alien cowboy. I know. He didn't really hold on to that line very well. He just kind of gave it all away. Yeah, because now this clerk, he's like, wait, this is the really like famous cow space cowboy guy so he's not very secretive i don't know when i was reading it i took it more of like no one's ever met him like yeah. they know of him but they've never physically been in contact with him so i kind of was just like well maybe it's going that way maybe that's what it means by secretive i don't know yeah. i think so and it's so interesting to like think <laughs> about know. that was only my prompt i'm trying mm -hmm. to figure out like what chat gbt was trying to go with this i know you're like where is this yeah where was it trying to go and then after uh those two paragraphs i then asked it pretend that the clerk is the secret alien cowboy's son and the secret alien cowboy wants to tell him that chat gbd then creates a i think like two or three paragraphs mm -hmm. about how the cowboy tells him I want you to be a part of my life and to share with you the adventures that I've had, which was pretty interesting. But then the clerk was like, I don't trust this dude. Like, this is so crazy. Where did that come from? I did not tell it to do that. Yeah, I was like, where did that come from? Uh, it says he tried to keep his voice steady, but he could feel his heart pounding in his chest. I didn't tell it to do that. Hmm. Chat GPT ran with it, ran with it and imagined that the clerk would be scared. Right. Why would he be scared though? Yeah. That was so fascinating. He could have been interested. He could have been excited. He could have been anything. But, but Chad GBT decided that the clerk was going to be scared. Maybe because he was a very secret space cowboy or alien space cowboy. So it kind of frightened him because he d he's done all this um, like amazing yeah, thing. Adventures, outlaws. He's probably killed a bunch of people. Maybe he's like, I've never met my father. I've always wanted to know who he was. And that can also be kind of scary in itself. So maybe yeah. that, uh, with that all of it, on top of it, just yeah. made it more like, oh, I am so scared. That's and so, so he's thinking, he's got to be scared, right? He's, yeah. Chad he's got to be like, scared. I'm pretty sure this kid would be scared. <laughs> yeah. But it, it makes that creative leap, which is so fascinating and yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. So ChatGPT came up with the idea that the boy would be scared. So in my mind, I was like, okay, let's pretend 
the boy secretly is messaging um, somebody for help. Mm -hmm. That's all I said. So the next scene is, as the cowboy continues to talk, the clerk discreetly slipped his hand into his pocket and pulled out his phone. His fingers flew over the screen as he frantically texted for help. ChatGPT decided that the clerk would be texting his friend right. for help. Right. Interesting. Maybe the AI is thinking we have more security with our friends and our loved ones, maybe? Maybe he's thinking those bonds are stronger than like yeah, police or something. You know what I'm saying? So. Like yeah, what I'm he, thinking, he realizes like, maybe he's like bonds are stronger. Also, this is not really know. a crime, so I guess why would you call the police? <laughs> yeah, I know. So he's just like, my friend, like I trust them with my life. Yeah. So I want to go to them for any help. So maybe he's thinking that. Yeah, exactly. But that was or another it's... creative leap that he made, that ChatGPT made mm -hmm. intelligently. Because in my right. mind, if I was writing it, I probably would have started writing, oh, he calls the cops. And I think I would have picked up eventually, like, why would he call the cops? I know. But ChatGPT figured that out like, immediately, no, 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 no. that this was not a crime. Yeah. Even though he was asking for help, yeah. it's not a crime, so he should instead call his friend. Right. Yeah. That's so amazing that yeah. the AI can figure all of that out. Yeah, super quickly too. All yeah, with it was just making it all the words. It was like zzz, 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 ten seconds story wrote, and then he texts, "I need you to come to the store right now. Something's happened. I think the man who just came in is my father, but I don't know what to do." So again, ChatGPT has to come up with a text message that one human will write to another human. A robot is trying to figure out how to write, or he has figured out how to write a story where one human talks to another human mm -hmm. through a text message. Mm -hmm. But also taking into uh, account the person's feelings. Yeah, again, remembering, because remember, he remembered yeah. our past prompts, so right. he remembered that the boy was scared. And then I prompted ChatGBT, I was like, okay, but pretend that the cowboy intercepted the message and it didn't go through. And you know what's interesting is that I kept prompting it, oh, pretend that the cowboy intercepted the message. And then it wrote a scene. But it's interesting because I didn't tell it to write a scene. I didn't tell it to continue writing a story. Maybe because that's the it conversation. It remembered our past conversation. Yeah. It, rem it knew that I was trying to write a story. So I, after that point, I never had to tell it, hey, write a scene. Right. It just wrote a scene. Mm -hmm. And it wrote a fictional scene. Right. It, su it assumed. So after I prompted it, okay, the cowboy intercepted the call. ChatGBT wrote, who are you texting just now, son? You seemed a little distracted. I prompted it to have the cowboy intercept the call and cancel it. So again, in my mind, it was going to be that the boy thought the text message went through, but it never did. And they would continue to have a conversation all the while the boy thinks his friend's going to show up and he's not. That's not the direction ChatGBT took it. It again, basically put everything out there for you to see. The cowboy immediately tells the boy, oh, you were texting somebody, give me that, and he cancels it. It's interesting, like we were saying earlier, right? It doesn't, it doesn't have the ability, it seems, mm -hmm. to like hide a narrative or hide right. a storyline yeah. under the narrative. Oh, so I would wonder what the ending would, would be yeah. because there, would, there wouldn't necessarily be any like, yeah, like, like shock, plot twist right? or shock. Value. Unless I come up with a prompt, like he's not a secret alien, right. he's really a demon from hell, right. and this was all a dream. It needs a plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem like it's very surface level. Like mm -hmm. it, the chatbot wants you to know it's delivering what you asked for, mm -hmm. so it brings all of that stuff to the surface, so you're mm -hmm. not left guessing. I'm thinking. I feel like it leaves a lot of room, though, for you to kind of rearrange or change things up a bit on your own. But it sounds really well written still. Yeah. Everything was really well written. I, I didn't have any issues with like the dialogue and things like yeah. that. So the next prompt I gave it was I was trying to cheat or like trick the AI into giving me like the answer to the universe or something. Rude. Right? So I, I said... They've uh, already done that in uh, the Hitchhiker's... I was, trying to, I was trying to get it to say something like that. Uh -huh. And I would have been blown away if it said the answer was 42. <laughs> but I wanted to see what the AI would come up with if the clerk asked the cowboy, what wisdom have you gained? Because so the clerk says, you mentioned that you've gained some wisdom during your travels. What kind of wisdom? And then the cowboy says, wisdom is something that takes a lifetime to acquire, son. But if you're asking for some of the things I've learned along the way, I'd say that one of the most important is to always be true to yourself. That's what an AI came up with. Was That's, it something you would have wrote? Yeah. I, actually, when I read that, I was like, oh, I wonder who wrote that. If you did, if they did. I was like, I don't know. But I was like, wow, oh, that's pretty deep. I like it. I, I know, love right? it. It's, it's very like kind of cliche, 
but it yeah, works. But it, it's great. It, and it's great. Like, yeah. oh, it's it's a universal truth. So I'm wondering, like, like where did it get that? Mm -hmm. I want to know it, where he got all this. Are you yeah. crazy? Where did it know, like, th that that sentence right there would have an emotional impact? Right. On the reader. to anyone and everyone. Be true to yourself. Yeah. Again, kind of cliche. Yeah. But we but forget that. Yeah. And, and a lot of people forget yeah. to do that. So I was trying to wrap up the story mm -hmm. at the end. And I said, okay, pretend the secret alien cowboy teleports away and he wants his son to meet him somewhere. And then he creates the ending scene, which I won't read for you, but I want you to go to the description, uh, click the link and read the full story. And then tell me what you think about the ending because it is fairly fascinating. And um, it all points to what we've been talking about, how the AI chatbot, ChatGBT, is good at writing a story, but nothing that's hidden. In right. the narrative, right? Everything is surface level. Mm -hmm. I tell it to teleport away, and then it just simply tells us, like, oh, he teleported away. <laughs> he teleported away, and in a flash of light, he was gone. Yeah, like, it was good, but it wasn't like overly creative. Right. Right. I mean, there's moments though where there's a lot of interesting bits, which is like, oh my god, shocking for it to be an AI. But then there's also moments where, like you said, it's just very like point blank. So, did you try to write a story with him? I did. I tried. I used the same one that you use and I got zero responses. It kept telling me to try again, error, try again. <laughs> and I was like, what kind of prompts am I supposed to put yeah. in this thing? I was like, is it just a single word? Is it a question? Is it uh, something with quotes? Is it something like I was trying all kinds of different combinations yeah. of stuff and nothing would come up. So I don't know if it was like I was just having technical issues. I think you were having technical or... issues because I ran into that same problem sometimes. Yeah, I was like, I think it's like a beta or something um, or a lot of people are using it. So sometimes uh, the connection fails. Okay. So if you're trying to use it, I'll link ChatGPT mm -hmm. in the description. If you're mm -hmm. using it and it says that, just try again later. But you know what's interesting about me is like I, I was using it a lot. And then after a while, I stopped saying, please write this. And I started giving it more like commands. I was like, write this for me now yeah oh <laughs> how kind of sad rude. but i oh, just <laughs> I that, act to to that. <laughs> that actually that just reminds me you know how you can do voice whatever in your car to your phone and it can send yeah. a text or make a call i always say please and i always say thank you that yeah. is so weird and afterwards i do it i'm like oh i don't have to say that but it would just sound weird if i didn't say <laughs> it so i'm just gonna say it it's fine i sound like a weirdo and it would um at first i was like yeah can can you please write this for me, right? Can you do this? Yeah. I was asking, no, you, can do this. You? But then after a while, I was like, just do it for me now. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I really like this as like a way to help you with your writing. Yeah. Uh, because I know for me, you know, I have like an, I have a hard time, like when I get stuck, you know, with whatever it is or how to explain something that I'm trying, like, how do I convey this? I feel like this would be a really good tool for writers to go to when they're like, I need to, I need help describing this, or I need help with placement, you know, in a mm. landscape or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you basically will never have writer's block again. Because yeah. you go to ChatGPT and you can prompt it. I'm trying to write a story about an elf in the woods that gets abducted by aliens and is transported to Mars, but I can't figure out, or can you tell me what it would look like mm -hmm. in the alien spaceship. Yeah. Um, what are the conditions of Mars? Yeah. Or, like, or like they got to Mars and it's been terraformed and now everything's blue. Right. What would it look like? And it would it would give you right. Like, and like you'd feel like yeah that sounds pretty accurate. I don't know, but like it sounds good. And you don't necessarily have to use it. It's a yeah. it's like a tool, right? right? So it tells you and you it inspires you and you're like mm -hmm. okay maybe I can write something like that. You yeah. don't have to get as complex as my crazy gibberish right there, but it takes <laughs> simple prompts. Can you yeah. write this in this way? And what's fascinating mm -hmm. is that it'll write it in a specific tone as well. So if mm. you're trying to write something or like a piece of dialogue that you don't want to be in your voice, you want to be in somebody else's voice, you could say, hey, can you rewrite this dialogue, copy paste your dialogue, in the style of, and you could say in the style of Jane Austen. Mm. or somebody and it'll rewrite it um, so oh, it wow. takes what you wrote and it'll also rewrite it and apply a tone uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be ai generated mm. you can use it as an assistant it's right. an assistant writer basically it's an intelligent assistant writer that is not intelligent on its own it needs you so go read the story let me know what you think about it let me know how much credit you think i should get or writers <laughs> should get if they're using the ai story thanks for watching <laughs>
Preferably in a residential area, should be played at high volume. <laughs>